I'm totally against stealing other people's content, right? But I think I've got to repeat something that Empyrean says every time this gets asked in his chat, as far as I know, and that is what kind of Atlas tree? How do I skill my Atlas tree? What do I do to help? Someone help, please. GGG is one of the few companies in the gaming industry that actually listens to what is fun for people and tries to amplify and magnify and capitalize on what is fun for people. For example, Flask. People were complaining, uh, Flask annoying to press uh, help. And so GG not only added the enchantments to Flask that they, c that they can trigger off certain things like use when charges are full. They also added Mage Hunter, stuff like that, right? And people love it, people love it. That is what GG does. Nice. The same approach should be with your skill tree because you should just skill whatever feels best for you. You should just skill the leak mechanics that are most fun for you, that makes the most sense to you. And yes, surely it is good to look at other people's skill trees so you get an idea of what is more or less efficient, what are good notes, what are bad notes. But really, there are no bad notes if it's fun for you because this is important. This is why I make this video. Now, um, I want to play a discharge build, right? So the one item I desperately need is uh, not desperately but the one item this is super cool is a ring with plus one to frenzy or power charges right power charges would be enough but i take frenzy charges anyway <laughs> every time now where do i get this ring from i could go einhar for the red beast and go for the reroll synthesis implicits right until i get it i could <sighs> Also go for Ritual, because Ritual sometimes puts in um, those items. Or, option number three, I could screw all of this and pick the most currency-making efficient method possible on my tree. Okay, Obviously, this is what most people are looking for. This is what most people show you. The problem within is that... Okay, let's say you pick the most currency-efficient method, because you don't... I don't know. You, you want to buy everything off right away, right? You, you don't want to gamble for some item that is my job. You just want to get as much currency and buy it all off. Okay, it's a legit method. Obviously, obviously it is. And if that is fun for you, go do this. If that is fun for you, go do this, right? If that is fun for you, I recommend it. Do it. However, the problem here is if we're talking efficiency, if we're talking efficiency, you should also pick the most efficient build for your method. But if you pick the most efficient build, then you soon find yourself in this situation where you're playing not the build you want to play, but you're playing a build, some leak starter that some other guy recommended to you. And certainly the game is fun for you, but the build is not that much fun, but you now play it and it works and your own build doesn't work as good. So you play this build. So two weeks in, you're still playing that build and you farm all this currency that you don't invest in the build you're playing because the build you're playing is not the build you want to play. You invest it in the build that you really want to play later on. And then you finally have uh, attained all the items for the build you actually want to play. And then what? You equip your character, you play him one, two days and you're done with the leak because it's no fun anymore? Ah, really, Sherlock? Ah, really? How many times did this happen to you? How many times does this happen to people? Okay, sh surely some people are fully invested in this game and play it for two months straight and play different build over and over and over again and still enjoy the game as much or because they're streamers and they're making money of it and it's just chill to make money of it, right? But if this is a hobby for you, your hobby should be fun. Your hobby should always be fun. Best example, League of Legends. League of Legends can be a very fun game, but if it is, if it frustrates you, then why should you take the time you have, your free time, the time you don't work, the time you don't have to do anything, the time that is completely free, available to you, and invests in, so in something that produces negativity and frustrates you and makes you, is a struggle to you. No, you want to have fun here. We don't want to struggle to get something within in the next few weeks. We want to have fun here. And to have the most fun possible in this game is just do whatever you like. I'm leak starting <laughs> Flicker Strike Discharger. I'm going to be a hell of a time. <laughs> Maybe stuck in early. No, I'm not going to be stuck in early maps. We already fixed that problem. But skill whatever, is whatever you like. You can change it in the end and look. If you 
have enough of what you wanted to do, then you can also look what other people are doing, then you can copy what they are doing. But start off with your own idea. Except if you're a complete beginner. But no, this is, this is, no, this is not even true. You can't be, no, you could, no, 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 listen, listen. The second league ever, the second league ever I played this game, or at least the second league ever where I finished the campaign and started to really play the game, right? The second league ever, I just thought in my head, oh, I go play minion build, I pl play Raging Spirits, and minion explode. And I played, what did I play? Chi I played Chieftain. B why? Because Chieftain had, back then, this note that all damage can ignite. So I played Raging Spirits, then I played minion instability, and I played Cyclone, cast while channel channeling, um, raging spirits, and just were just cycling through the map. My minions, like little small little missiles, ran into the enemies, exploded and ignited everything. And then I scaled the minion damage and the ignite damage and the fire damage. I could clear all the content. I could do all the bosses. I could do all the maps. Sure, my build wasn't the fastest or the best build, but I didn't ever check the real damage because you couldn't really check the damage of raising spirit explosions in part of a building back then. I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't sure if it is gonna work or not. I just played my build, had my fun, it worked, I could clear the entire content. If you have faith that you have, yeah, if you have faith, this is not a topic now, but if you have faith, if you believe in your own build, it will work. It will work. Just play your own build and create something new, share it with the community maybe. But if you're just copying what everybody else does, this is not necessarily bad. If they are doing what is fun for you, sure, go ahead. If you want to learn by if you want to play the game and have a good experience while playing the game, sure, copy another m person's build. This is one of the best things you can do. I'm doing this all the time and then I put my own tweaks to that, right? But st stuff like this, what do I best skill here? You skill what is most fun for you, you play what is most fun for you, you uh, engage the game in the way that is most fun for you. Go be stuck 12 hours in the campaign. If it's fun for you, playing the league mechanic in every map, then it's just fun for you. Nobody can blame you. Because this is what it's about, right? It's a game, it's supposed to be fun, and GGG is a company that, that tries to amplify your fun in the game. So make use of that. Have all the fun. And don't look for the one best way, like in some League of Legends game that's... Yeah, well, League of Legends. Best example, if you play the game, I play Kiana only. Probably the best Kiana player in the entire world. Yet, or the second best. Yet, do I have fun if I'm playing against Malphite? No, because those people don't play the game, they play card game. They play, oh, I go load counter, oh, I pick Malphite meat, <laughs> and pick this. Yeah, well, I'm having fun in the game because I'm playing what I want, and you, you slave, slaving away at your card game that is decided in Champ Selector was, because you, what is that? What is that? Just play what is fun for you and crush it, crush it. What is this motivation speak now? I don't... <laughs> Have a good league start tomorrow. <laughs> See ya.